a blessed sante of the most precious body and blood of Jesus, Corpus Christi. Good morning and peace be with you. This is Miss Sherry. Welcome to my Reflection, Acronym, and Prayer. Are you looking for a wellness package that will enhance your body, your beauty, and your spirit? Well, this is about the Gospel reading today that Jesus is offering as a wellness package. But it is not only about body and beauty, but it is about the body and the blood of Jesus. So to begin, let us invoke the Holy Spirit so that we will be enlightened and we will be instructed on how to have the right wellness package that will enhance our body and our spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here, he said to them. Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there numbered about five thousand. Then he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about fifty. They did so and made them all sit down. Taking the five loaves and two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled twelve wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, my dear students, how are you? As what I have said, we will be talking today about the wellness. It's not just a beauty wellness, it's not just spiritual wellness, but actually it's a package. It is the complete package that Jesus is offering us as we commemorate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus. In some um, religious affiliation, they celebrate this Thursday after the Holy Trinity Sunday. But we here in the Philippines and other parts of the world, we celebrate this Sunday after the Most Holy Trinity Sunday. So, what is the message of God today? For us, using the gospel and using the, the acronym that we're going to use is Corpus Christi. Well, uh, in the gospel reading, Jesus already gave the apostles the poor taste of what he can do for us. It's not just a nourishment of our physical hunger but it is also give us nourishment of our spirit of our soul during the time when jesus was teaching them people followed him everywhere he goes because they are hungry not only with the food of the body but also they are hungry with the spiritual nourishment and that is why they encounter Jesus and one encounter is enough especially to those who are open-minded those who are opening their hearts they would really follow Jesus wherever he goes and so during that time when Jesus was preaching them and it was uh, almost night time 
the twelve disciples were worried about how these people will find place to sleep or find ways to eat. Remember our gospel re reading yesterday was about worrying. Do not worry. Be happy because God's providence is enough. But Jesus told them, Feed them yourselves. And the disciples said, We only have five loaves of bread and two fish. This will not enough for all of them. They are more than five thousand, not counting the women and the children. But Jesus said, Let them sit in a group of 50. What is this 50 numbers relevance? The group of 50. And then the apostles did what Jesus told them because they trusted Jesus. Yeah, so that is very important. The trust. They obey because they trust Jesus. So what happened? Because of the five loaves of bread and the two fish jesus blessed the bread broke them and gave it to the disciples to distribute these are very symbolic actions but we are not here to discuss everything but we'll just ask the holy spirit to provide us something that we can use to be aware of his blessings all right let's come holy spirit fill our hearts with your knowledge, with wisdom, that we may be able to understand your message for us today. Give us the grace of understanding, of opening our hearts to the message that you want us to proclaim. Amen. Sorry for the noise. That is why Jesus is telling us that I am the bread of life. The bread of life is Jesus himself. Today, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Jesus, we are giving Jesus a chance. Or the other way around. Jesus is offering his body for us and his blood so that we will have eternal life. Remember, they say, you are what you eat. What you eat. We eat the body of Jesus so that we may become like him. When we put this in our in our stomach, our system, it will become part of us. Mother Mary had Jesus in her womb for nine months and it transformed her to be a perfect creation. We are not Mother Mary, but we are given a chance to have an encounter with Jesus, real encounter with His real presence in the Holy Eucharist in the form of the bread and the blood in the wine. So let us use the acronym of Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi is quite long, but with the help of the Holy Spirit, we will be able to find words that will help us reflect and understand the gospel reading today. Yesterday, I forgot something. I forgot letter N, but I have an excuse because I don't have any, any script, any uh, paper to write my messages. So, today, I have... Prepare the word so yeah this corpus christi but this is still blank all right so with the help of the holy spirit we will be able to find words that will be used to remember and to reflect what is this corpus christi means to our life okay let us see I hope I will not miss any words today, any letter today. Letter C, the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, body and blood, will help us to have change. Letter C, to change our hearts as the song goes, 
change our heart, O oh Lord. This is our way to change our hearts, to have conversion. I can only help you in the information, in the proclamation, evangelization. But conversion is your choice, is your personal option. And it is also given to us when we offer our hearts and we actually open our eyes. So letter C stands for the conversion, the change of heart. That's for letter C. Next is letter O. O. Jesus is given, giving us an opportunity. Actually, it is not just a gift. It is an offering. Jesus offered His body and blood for us. And it is our opportunity if we receive Him constantly. It's our opportunity to be like Him. Right? So let us open our hearts again, our minds, and take this opportunity. They say that opportunity comes only once, but they say opportunity may not be able to, to come, but we can make opportunity with the help of God. Yeah, so Jesus is giving us an opportunity whenever we receive the, the bread, the body of Jesus. Let us be open-minded. Let us open our hearts to receive Him, if not daily, at least during Sundays. That's for letter O. Next is letter R. R stands for the restoration. Jesus redeemed us from our sinfulness, but the bread, the body of Jesus that we eat, restore this life. And at the same time, it is also revitalize our faith and rejuvenate our body. And this is free. We will not spend any money to rejuvenate our body to make our skin soft and clear. Right? So, this is not only a nourishment of the soul, it is also nourishing our body. That's the secret of the saint. That's why their, their body is preserved. Right? Next is letter core P. Okay. So, Jesus offered his body as a sign of peace. Remember when he said, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you, the peace that the world cannot keep. But what must we do? We must pray so that we can have this peace. Amen? That's letter P. Now, it starts with the um, next letter is U. You know that I always forget. U stands for um, understanding. Let us Asked God to give us the gift of understanding of His will for us and that we may be able to unite our hearts to His sacred heart. Amen. And at the same time, let us also be united with one another, with our brothers and sisters in faith. All Christians must unite and that is what Jesus wants us to do. Be united with Him and understand His will for us. Amen. Next is letter S for corpus. Yeah. Letter S stands um, this is the, the sustaining grace. The sanctifying grace. Yes. And this is very important in our faith. Jesus is giving us sanctifying grace that will sustain us, that will make us not only holy, but we will be like Him. Right? So that is the acronym of Corpus. Now for Christi. Oh yeah, Christi. Letter C again. The first C stands for conversion. Next letter C stands for compassion. Jesus is a compassionate God 
So He is showing us compassion by giving us His body and blood. Let us also be compassionate to one another. Amen. Next letter is H. H stands for holiness. Whenever we receive Jesus, we become like Him. Eventually, we become holy. But let us humble ourselves. Let us be humble enough and ask for healing. We are all broken. But the bread of Jesus, the body of Jesus is also broken. He took the bread, He blessed, and broke it. So I hope that we will also ask Jesus to take us, to break us, so that we will become like Him. Amen? And that is for letter H. Let us be holy, let us be humble, and let us help one another so that we can all have healing. Amen. Next is letter R, another R. The first R a while ago stands for the restoration. Next R stands for our reconciliation. Let us reconcile with one another. In the Mass, before we receive the Holy Eucharist, we have this peace praying, praying of peace, the giving of peace, and the praying of the Lord's Prayer. Because it is very important. We may not be able to, to have the sacrament of reconciliation or confession regularly, but in this, uh, in this Mass, part of the Mass that we give, Peace, we reconcile with one another before we receive Jesus. So R stands for reconciliation. Let us reconcile with one another and be reconnected again to one another and to God. That's for letter R. Next letter, am I missing something? Letter I. I don't know. I forgot. I'm just joking. I stands for, this is an integral wellness Jesus is giving us His presence in the Holy Eucharist and hoping that we will be satisfied, we will be integrated. We are not supposed to forget that we, are, we were created by God according to His image and likeness. We have our body also, so let us nourish. Integral nourishment is more on the inner, inner peace, inner beauty. When we believe that we are beautiful with the eyes of God eventually, that beauty will actually enhance and will inspire others too. So the I for the Christi integrate so that we will have our inner peace and inner beauty. Next letter is for Arina. Another S again in the Body and blood of Jesus, we become Jesus' image. And therefore, we have this responsibility to serve one another. So next letter, S is serve, service. As we all know that worship must be accompanied with service because service is very important. This is our way of our actually ticket in going to heaven. Let us serve one another as Jesus wants us to do this for Him. Next letter is T, which stands for transformation. Transubstantiation is for the bread that becomes the body of Jesus. But transformation is our own optional and our own determination. If you have the determination to transform, we will always ask Jesus to teach us what must we do. And that is receive the body of Jesus in the form of bread that happened during the transubstantiation. Amen. Next is letter I. Finally, last I. I, my. Run out of I, but Jesus is always giving me enough supply. I it stands for the intercession. 
Yes, we always ask for the intercession of the Mother Mary, the Blessed Mother, because Jesus stayed in her womb for nine months, and that transformed her. Just like Mother Mary, we receive Jesus in our stomach. Let us ask for her intercession, that we may become like her. We may be able to follow her intercession, her her example, so that we can go to heaven. Amen. Acronym of the day, Corpus Christi. And this will make us beautiful with a body, heart, and soul. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, we praise and thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for giving us your only Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving his life to us and he continuously sustains us with his body and blood to the Holy Eucharist. Give us the grace that we may be able to receive him more often. Give us the grace that we may be open and offer life for him. This we ask through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother too, Saint Joseph, and all the saints. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for listening and sharing me your time. This is Miss Sherry. Let us remember that God made us beautiful with our body, heart, and soul. Amen. God bless us all. See you again tomorrow. Bye.